Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to give you a quick introduction of how to take your Zoom meeting or your Zoom webinar and stream it live across multiple uh, social media platforms. We're talking live on Facebook, on Facebook pages, on multiple Facebook pages, multiple YouTube channels, uh, Twitch, Twitter via Periscope, LinkedIn. You can either go to your LinkedIn company page or your LinkedIn profile. You can stream them all through Zoom to uh, these different platforms. What you will need is a paid version of Zoom. So if you're doing it on meeting, the $14.99 version uh, will be fine. If you do the webinar, obviously you need the Zoom add-on for the webinar. Both of those, any paid version of Zoom can do this. And then we're going to use a platform called Restream. Now the free version of Restream will do this, but you're limited to... Um, functionality on restream i recommend that you use at least the standard version this way you can go to facebook pages and groups um because you can't on the free version of of um restream but what you can do is test the uh zoom functionality on the free version of restream to your personal profile on facebook uh, you might not want to do that but a test account on facebook maybe but I would say you want to be looking at the $19 a month version. And if you want to remove uh, branding, then you want the $49 a month version. So we're going to, I'm going to show you, I'm on the professional plan, uh, but you can do this on the standard. I would, I would just recommend paying at least the standard, which is $19 a month, or it's a bit less if you pay annually. But you're going to be able to get it to, to push across multiple platforms. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that next. Right, the first thing we need to do in the Zoom settings is go to your account in Zoom settings and turn on live streaming. It isn't on by default. So if you just go, uh, I've already done it, look. If you go to this, sorry, let, let me just jump back a second. Let me go to settings, do, you know, uh, control F uh, or, or find the setting and type in live stream, right? And it will jump to allow live streaming on your uh Zoom meeting. This is how it will be when you first start and you want to turn it on and the the important part for this video is that custom live streams is active. Now you might have YouTube, Facebook, workplace for Facebook already ticked but we want to be able to do all of these things at once and we're going to do it through custom live streaming. Right so make sure that these are ticked. Next thing we want to set up our restream. So I'm presuming you've already signed up, you've already paid for standard version or professional. If you use my link, I do get paid a little bit of commission for uh, recommending this, but it is something I use. So if I go in and go to my restream, you're going to see uh, multiple accounts all set up. So the Drink, Drink Paul experience was a charity thing. The PNUK are my like gaming channels, fun things. Uh, oh, there's actually two on Periscope, which would uh, send it to Twitter. So all you're going to do is add your channels, right? So add your channel, click your Facebook page, or your, so we can click Facebook, we're gonna connect. It's gonna ask us to authorize, and then say which page do you wanna to go to, your personal or you know my public page. And you can type in here your title of what you want it to be, uh, live, Zoom meeting with, I don't know, Mrs. Smith, whatever. Whatever it might be, you can change it, you can save it, and you can do things with it later. So you're going to add all your channels. You're going to go through the same way and add your LinkedIn. And it's going to say you can only do either your personal profile or your company page. Again, you connect it, and you are ready to go. So what will happen on Zoom, the minute you fire Zoom, uh, to go live, it will pick up whichever one of these is on, right? So if we, if I say I'm going to go to my Twitch stream, and I'm going to go to my LinkedIn profile, and I'm going to go live on my Facebook, uh, on my Facebook profile, that's actually my, my personal profile uh, that I've picked, and I'm going to go live on Twitter. Those settings there are going to be what goes live. So if you don't want to go live on all of them, 
or you want to go live on multiple Facebook pages, just turn them on. It will go live on all of them. I'm trying to think of what which ones aren't going to um, trigger too many too many things going off. If you want to go live on your Facebook page, on your uh, YouTube, and you can update all of the titles at once. So I'm going to go Zoom meeting test with Restream. So people, to be fair, I don't have much pull on these channels. No one's, I'm, I'll go live and nobody will really notice. And I might say it's education rather than gaming. And then update all. So now my restream is ready to go live, right? So whatever is, let me just double double check that. Whatever is blue is will go live. Sorry, I should add. If you want to go live straight away, impromptu, just turn it on and go live. This is how you do it. If you want to create an event, you might want to go here and create a new event. Schedule a live stream. And you might go uh, Zoom meeting test with Restream. Right, I'm testing uh, Zoom and Restream. Ignore. Right, you're going to put in your actual description. You're going to put, when is it live? So let's say it's today, but it's going to be at 7 p.m., something like that, right? 7 p.m. And if I've got a thumbnail, uh, I don't know if I've got one that I can use. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Copy, copy, copy. What's up? Uh, did I not do one? the other day facebook authentication let's just use this and that is now going to be uh, your information of your meeting that's going to go live and now we're going to say where we're going to go live to we can go to the pung we can go uh, to facebook live we can go to linkedin multiple uh, twitch accounts i'm going to turn this one off uh, da -da -da. we can leave that we can leave that and we can add channels as well if we want to. You can do more connections. We're going to click to create the event. Uh, edit, edit, edit. Are they all turned off? Here we go. They're coming through as they change. There's something wrong with my LinkedIn account. I, I may not, I don't really use the LinkedIn, so it may not work properly uh, at this time. And that's it. So you're going to close. We can edit it. We can see it in the background. Here we go. Let's close this. So now we have this live meeting set up and it is ready to go, right? So if I go to YouTube and if I go, I don't know if I've got my punk account open. It's kind of my mess about account. I go to your channel videos, uh, do, 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 upcoming live streams. Here it is, look, it's live. Here's, here's it's going to be live and people can start joining it. It'll be the same on Twitter and uh, Facebook or something like that. It's going to show you an event coming up, okay? So I threw that in there, but if you want to go impromptu live or you want to go to the event, it's this RTMP setting that we're after. So this is... The information that sends that event live, right? If we go to the dashboard and you want to go impromptu live, then you go here, RTPM, RTMP settings, and this is where you grab those settings, right? So when I go to Zoom, I'm going to host a meeting with video on. It's going to open my dark room and show my ugly mush. So it's going to open and you're going to, set your meeting up as normal in zoom you've got your video i've got a i've got a better camera than that but what we're now looking for is this setting here because you've turned this on in that first part of the video you're now going to see this live customs lives live on custom live streaming service and that will give us streaming url streaming key and live facebook right so if you want to go live straight away it will go to all of these blue marks. You put in this live stream here, goes to here, streaming URL, streaming key, you copy this, and 
for the link inside of uh, the Zoom meeting saying you are streaming live, you can copy whichever whichever live profile you want to to put it in there, right? So that would send it live straight away. We would go live now. That's an impromptu live just starting on all these four things. But what we want to do is launch this event, right? So on the event, we want to take this streaming information. So this key here, and we're going to take and paste that one in. Oh, let's get rid. It was a bit longer. Right, custom streaming, and we're going to go live. And the minute we turn this on, this meeting is being... Uh, Live stream by saying by staying in this meeting you consent right so we're going we're going live and on restream we are getting ready for the live to go here we go so we are live here's here's the Zoom meeting live on YouTube one person watching which is me if you go to uh, the dashboard of restream you will see here. It is live when it comes up it will show live and when you go to the live studio you will now see in the chat you're going to be able to say uh, hello oh how are you right that will send it to Facebook it'll send it to two Facebooks to your um, Twitch to your Live meeting, there we go, hello, how are you? If somebody, if I log in as me on uh, on YouTube, so I'm Paul Nicholson training here, I can say hello, how are you? And in that live restream, here it comes, Paul Nicholson training, hello, how are you? The beauty of this is I can moderate it from here. I don't have to moderate it from uh, YouTube itself. I can turn, I can put somebody into timeout or block them. If I go to Facebook, I can. I'm just going to turn. Uh, I'm going to say here, look, the Drink with Paul experience is live. So that's me on Facebook. Again, I can go hello, Paul. Oh, I can't even spell my own name. And in Restream, it will come up from Facebook, look. And I can click. I can't show it. Uh, I don't think that will show it. Again, I can I can monitor it here. Chris is watching. So Chris here is saying, can't hear you. So I can put, sorry, Chris. I'm doing... A demo for tech channel. So he's got a notification. Oh shit! So I'll I'll turn it off on my YouTube right because it is it has gone public. So if I go back here, it's it's the hardest thing about showing these um, videos. Fair play, Chris is the only person that would turn up. He's a good guy. But you can see on Facebook, I am live on Facebook. If I go to Twitch, uh, if I go to my Twitch, I don't know why that train wreck comes up all the time. If I go to Twitch, then you can see Twitch again, the comments, hello. So that's, I'm logged in with somebody else. So here comes Bullpunk on Twitch. And again, I can moderate it from here. So now I am live. Twitter, Facebook, two pages on Facebook, um, LinkedIn, YouTube. I can go multiple YouTube channels um, and I can moderate the chat and reply to the chat in here. I can reply here, right? And everybody can see the chat. Everybody can see and moderate it yourself. So when I go back to Twitch, here we go. I have replied and... We've gone across all of the different streams. When I've finished and it's a goodbye, then all I'm going to do is end the meeting, end the meeting for all. And I'll turn the uh, YouTube on. Uh, sorry, I'll turn my email on.
Twitch is now, hold up, go back to live stream and it's going to say go live at the top because we're no longer live. If we can leave this uh, and your stream is now turned off and you are going to get emails saying this was me going live. Somebody's following me. After a certain amount of time, you will get your stream information um, in the email. But you are now turned off. You are no longer live. Let me edit this video. Uh, um, let me just delete it. <laughs> that will definitely confuse people. Da, 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 da. I'm just going to delete. Oh, no, it's not. It's still processing. Let me turn it off. This is the problem. Maybe try and go live. It causes absolute chaos. Is it still live there? Did I end the meeting? Oh, now it's stopped. Now, now it's finished. Delete forever. I don't want people to come back to the angle. There's no sound. We got four views, actually. So that's how easy it is to go live, to go on your Zoom to launch a Zoom meeting uh, via Restream, at least a $19.99 version a month, I would uh, recommend. And if you if you sign up with my partner link, uh, I do get paid a little bit of commission with Restream. But it is the easiest way to run a live stream across multiple channels, and it'd be quite close to um, your... It'd be quite close to... Um, how quickly you're saying it to how live it goes. If With a lot of other softwares, it can be a 20 second, 30 second delay. So if you get people commenting, the, the, the conversation can be very slow. But I like it. I use it across multiple platforms at the same time to be able to interact with people. Uh, it's a very easy thing to do. If you've got any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will try to clarify. I know that was a bit sketchy. It always is when I try and go live. Um, across these Facebook things and all that sort of stuff. Uh, there's lots of features, lots of things that Restream can do outside of Zoom as well. But I think that, is, that if I was going Zoom to multiple streams, Restream is exactly how I would do it. Hope that helped. See you all again soon. Cheers.